hours, Ukrainian authorities confirmed it is one of their warplanes, shot down by a Russian surface-to-air missile right over Kiev. There has also been a Russian missile strike on the city. World leaders had warned the capital was Putin's target. This country of 44 million people is now living in a frightening new world. Ukrainian families search for safety but can't find it. Their faces are fear smothered in blood as they walk around the homes they've known for years but in an instant were rendered unrecognisable. War has arrived in Ukraine and it is everywhere. A colossal attack by land, air and sea, the length and breadth of the country. Russian armoured vehicles storm across the border uncontested, while helicopters fly low over the capital of Kiev, dropping off troops and unfathomable terror. They are Russian airborne forces. Harrowing scenes that the world had so hoped were contained in the pages of history, now being witnessed by a new generation. The emergency sirens wailed at sunrise as the first explosions lit up the country. Key military targets, bases, airports, aircraft have since been bombed. But there are homes hit as well. This missile sliced through a living room but miraculously didn't detonate. Ukrainians left scrambling to withdraw their life savings, to stock up on food and to flee. We have hope. People be... Oh. Everything be okay. The roads were instantly jammed with cars and with shock. Bordering countries are now preparing for an influx of refugees, but those who have nowhere to go can only hide underground. In the dust-covered bomb shelters of the Soviet Union era and in the subways of the cities that their lives now rely on. This is the new reality for ordinary people caught up in an extraordinary conflict. This is Ukraine's darkest day. The assault on this nation so long anticipated has finally arrived and it is uglier than even the most harrowing predictions had expected.